They sent back on their journey from the 2400 meter marker. Not a bad beginning as expected. Sarissa, the first one to split the breeze. In front by a length and a quarter. Three balloons is right there in the early stages. My World Captain Splendid settling towards the inside impact zone. And there goes Double Clutch, rousted up on the right hand side. You can see the riders now starting to ask him to get a lot closer. Rocket Ball's about four to five lengths off them. Mr. O'Neill's racing awkwardly towards the outside. Then we drop back to Great Rumpers. Towards the outside of those, Banner Hill, Hayaku, Cape Speed looking to drop anchor. Sarissa's out in front by two. Three Balloons gets up second. Two lengths away, Captain Splendid. A further two lengths to my world. Double Clutch continues to get ridden at and he's already got a slap of the whip on the outside. Double Clutch. Great Trumpus is seven lengths off them. They're starting to stretch out. Impact zone on the outside. Rocket Ball, Mr. O'Neill continues to make ground around them in the White Silks is doing it three wide. Ayaki to the inside, Rocket Ball shuffled back. Then we drop back to Banner Hill and Cape Speed. They're racing about 13 lengths off the leader. Making play in front is Sarissa, where he likes to be. Sets the tempo by two. Back in second, three balloons. Captain Splendid. Double clutch and my world. Hot against the steel to the inside. Mr. O'Neill continues to do it three around. Impact zone. Great rumpers. Rocket Ball's got eight lengths to make up. Just ran onto the hills of impact zone. Ayaku, Banner Hill. Cape Speed, he's going to have to find that speed, he's got 11 lengths to make up, Rocket Ball's making a move around them. 600 metres to go in the Lonsdale Stirrup Cup, Grade 3. Sarissa's been there throughout. Three balloons. Captain Splendid gets the shake-up. Towards the inside, Mr. O'Neill goes in. Rocket ball to the outside. Banner Hill tries to progress. My World's on the inside. Captain Splendid runs a big race at the 300. Takes on Sarissa. My World, Rocket Ball. Banner Hill's on the outside. Captain Splendid down the inside. My World. Captain Captain Splendid and Pierre Stratum in front. My World second, but Captain Splendid's digging in from My World. Sarissa and Ayaku. Captain Splendid, he moved up, coming to the top of the lane, he attacked them. Sarissa, my world, Captain Splendid for the Justin Snaith team, bred by the Vosfantin stud for Fred Crabier. On the way down to the start, he was really stretching out and he finds a little bit extra. My world's plugging away in second. Sarissa never throws in the towel and Ayaku, only a length and a half separating the quartet past the post. Captain Splendid gets his fourth victory. Mr. O'Neill did things the hard way he stays on ahead of rocket ball and then came banner hill great rumpers cape speed was towards the back of the field and never got into the action sarissa tackled by captain splendid hands and heels stuff from pierce stratum coming to the 300 with a few flicks down the neck my will down the inside four off the left hand side hayaku and sarissa captain splendid in full flight and he goes to the winner's box captain splendid fights on my world sarissa and hayaku that is the running of race number six back to the studio Well, our first of our features on Daily News Day was the Lonsdale Stirrup Cup uh, for uh, 300,000, a grade three. And it's turned out to be a lovely result for uh, Justin Snate, uh, Mr. Fred Hrabia, and of course, Pierre Stradom, our Fast Fontaine start also bred the son of Captain L. Well done to everybody concerned. And uh, what a lovely win for the source, bouncing back to his best. Uh, joining us for the winning presentation, we got uh, Mr. Babu Nanan. He is one of the directors of Gold Circle. Babu, thanks for coming down and assisting us with the presentation. First up, let's have a chat to the winning trainer, Justin Snaith. Justin, you know, 
before I touch on this, when uh, I briefly mentioned it this morning to uh, Graham on Understarter Zones when we spoke about the horse, that it's a great initiative by Snate Racing. And I saw John on the beach with the horses and uh, giving his uh, podcast a lovely initiative, and he was quite bullish about the horse. Well, that, that's why we did it. We had to let the public know. And I actually said to Michelle Wing when she interviewed me that you have to interview me about the horse because he's going to make a big improvement. Remember, I came from Cape Town. We had no gallops. I had to get, unfortunately, he ran a, a race and he was so, so unfit. And I had to really just go do my work, you know. You know, <laughs> you know, you know it, it's my job. I had to go and, uh, you know, get him right. And uh, uh, we, he just all of a sudden took off and his gallop was mind blowing. So we wanted the public to know. So Jonathan, look, Jonathan, out of the two of us, the only one that looks all right on the beach. So, <laughs> so you know, we're very happy. I think a nice guy didn't look too bad in the background. No, 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 he does. He, look, it, we're very fortunate that we could take horses to the beach in Cape Town. But, uh, you know, really well done to Fred. It's one of Fred's favorite horses, which sometimes I don't know if I like training owners' favorite horses because they, they expect quite a bit, and, and so he should. He's a beautiful horse. He's back in the winner's box, and uh, I, I think he, he still has got uh, something in, in him and uh, uh, some good improvement to Fastfontaine. Well done. Uh, you know, they breed top horses, so well done, Emma, Jane, everybody concerned in the whole Crabia camp. Justin, it, it's, every now and again he's hit and miss with horses that have gone off form. Was there anything in particular that saw the horse turn? Because he certainly turned his form around. His gallop was very good, I must be honest. Uh, uh, it was very impressive and uh, on his gallop he was going to run a good race. Look, there's some nice horses in here. Banner Hill, I think they've been a bit harsh. He, he jumped up the handicapping quite quickly, brought him back into the field. So I thought we, were, we had a good chance, but still, it, it's very competitive here in Durban. You've got the best guys in the country here and every win you take with two hands. If Teletrack takes this interview, they'll get to listen to this, but for the followers that have made it on course, you've got lovely horses coming out in the next two features. Just brief comments. Look, Gimme Six is, is doing very well. She's doing as well as she did in the Guineas. This is a lot more competitive. You've got uh, the Joburg horses here now where previously they weren't. You've got Joey Ramsden has brought in horses as well. So it's a very, very competitive race. I do think we've got a good chance, but we've, as I said, very, very competitive. Uh, Copper Force and Zodiac Ruler, there's not much in it. There again, you know, these are big races. You dream of winning them. So uh, are, my horses are well, but uh, as I said, very, very competitive racing. Well, it's another feature for you during our champion season, Justin. That's the momentum for the winning trainer. And if you can also accept on behalf of the winning owner as well, who is Mr. Fred Krabia, they've got that aside for you. Well done, Justin Snade. Next up, uh, let's have Pia. Um, is Pia Stratum around? I don't see him, but uh, maybe he's getting ready for uh, the next race, uh, which is obviously a feature. So Pia's uh, not here. Uh, well done to Pia, who's in the jockey room. Congratulations, Pia. We've got a nice momentum for you. Justin has got it. And then Mr. Fred Krabia, as we mentioned, is the owner. And uh, the gentleman that takes care of Captain Splendid, uh, he's done an outstanding job. And uh, that's Zama Lukwane. Zama, well done, my man. Very good job with the sauce. Well done to the winning groom, Zama Lukwane. That uh, concludes the presentation, and uh, thanks to uh, Babu Nanan, director of Gold Circle, for coming down and assisting us with the winning presentation for the Grade 3 Lonsdale Stirrup Cup. And in 2017, it belongs to one horse, Captain Splendid.